on the ugly duck. Mother woodpecker was standing on the egg in the nest. The first two eggs hatched. It was a boy and a girl woodpecker. He named them Wilson and Wilma. But the third egg was not hatched. It was larger than the other two eggs, and it was speckled while the other two eggs were playing. I think they're sitting on a robin's egg, Mama woodpecker. Or maybe it's uh, it was some other bird like a goose or a peacock. Stop sticking your head on top, woodpecker. You are giving God a hint that the woodpecker has even some eyes. <laughs> so Ma Woodpecker continued to spin on the egg, and after three long days, it began to crack. Out popped a strange creature that looked nothing like a woodpecker. What a strange looking bird. My word, it has a beak like a bird late. It has what feel like some birds I know, but where are its wings, where are its feathers, and what is the strange shell it has? Little brother, can you drill a hole in a tree with, with your beak like this? Rat, a tap, 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 tap. The hatchling tried, but it simply hurt its beak. Little, little brother, can you fly like me? Flop, flop, flop. The hatchling waved his arms, but he could not fly. What kind of bird are you? What pecker are you? You can't fly, you can't drill a hole. With your beak. Yeah. What are you? You're the ugly shrimp. You're the ugliest woodpecker. Woodpecker I ever seen. Children, children, mm -hmm. the same. Pipe down, children. I don't think this is really your, <coughs> your little brother. I think this is Duck. We need to find him. Wait. We need to find a new home for him among his own kind. Paul Woodpecker picked up the hatchling. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Woodpecker picked up the hatchling and carried him down to the mine. He left him there with a couple of ducks named Danny and Dottie. Who are you? Yes, please identify yourself. Well, I'm a woodpecker, but I am told I'm in the duck. A duck, you say, and you only sound like this. <laughs> Do you hear water when you walk? I'm not sure. Here, I'll walk into the deck when you tell me. You have a strange way of walking. You certainly don't waddle in a true way like a duck. <laughs> That's for sure. You don't quack and you can't waddle. I don't know what you are. You're just a creature duck. I think you must actually be a very ugly woodpecker. <coughs> yes, those woodpeckers just wanted to get rid of you. But you're certainly not cool enough to be a duck. <laughs> the little creature's feelings were very hurt. If this is how ducks behave, he didn't even want to be a duck. He moved away from them just as fast as his wife's feet would carry him. Rudy came upon two turtles named Tanya, Terry and Tanya. Tanya and Terry. Who are you? I don't know. I thought I was a woodpecker, but I could go away with my beak. And I thought maybe I was a duck, but I couldn't fly and I was a duck. No, Teddy, I know what you are. I was just asking you who you are. What's your name? I don't know that you know what I am. Mean. Thankfully, you have inside your shell. The creature gave it a try. <laughs> sure enough, he was able to pull his head inside his shell. You too. No pressure here, too. I'm a turtle. I'm a turtle. <laughs> the little back, the ugly woodpecker learned that he was actually a turtle. He immediately changed his name to Saddest Tea Turtle. He was adopted by Tanya and Terry, and their brothers and sisters. Saddest Tea Turtle was always nice to other animals, no matter how unusual they looked and acted, and they lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs>